Yo, I ain't gonna cap. Your boy made about three hundred dollars overnight in my sleep. I want to show you exactly how I did it, so you can repeat the process, man. Let's get it. This is Sway Pro. You feel me? You see the balance? We get into it. Stop playing with us. Three hundred dollars up on this account, of course. You see all my positions that I'm in. They all looking good. You feel me? They all looking good, baby. Now I got two options. I could move the, I could move stop losses into profit like that and just trail it. You know what I'm saying? But honestly, me, y'all know me. I'm taking my bread. <laughs> I'm taking it. So we're going to close all these out. You feel me? Because I don't have time for that. Boom. Let's get it, baby. And now my balance is at $850. And this is what we do. We trade binary options and we trade Forex. So when you asking like, yo, what was you looking at on here? Cause I don't got my stochastic on here. I don't got my TDI on here. And this is what I'm saying. If you know how to trade, you really don't need everything. It's just more confirmations. But if you really want to know, the market has been an uptrend for a long time. All right, as you can see, the market had pulled back. And so I'm like, okay, we're gonna get a bounce somewhere and head back up, right? Just cause based off what the market has been doing. So I'm like, we're gonna get a bounce eventually. Some maybe somewhere in here and head back up. So I just started buying. I bought early. So I was in drawdown a little bit yesterday, probably like, mm, let's say probably like 30 bucks. Uh, and I just decided to hold it overnight and, and got it, you feel me? But just, just following the trend on this particular trade, and I'm sure I could have held it longer, but again, as I be telling y'all, do not be greedy in these markets, all right? Whenever you trading, whenever you're trying to make money, you cannot be greedy. You know what I'm saying? You gotta learn how to start moving this money. Now, with this one, I may compound just a little bit and then start moving money to the wallet. Cause I know y'all was asking about that. So if you notice, all these are above this 200 moving average. This, this yellow right here, that's the 200 moving average. All right, so all the candles are above it. So that let me know the trend already. And the trend been strong. And this is on the M15 chart. So trend being strong going up. So you just wait on that pullback, catch it on the way up, and it's a go. You feel me? But yeah, uh, when it come to trading, you need a couple different confirmations, y'all. Uh, look at the trend. All right, get you a RSI, overbought, oversold levels. We're going to click here, my little pen tool indicators all right add indicator and then i got my stochastic right there as y'all can see the zigzag and all that uh you could do rsi because i've been using the rsi for years you can add that on there if you need to all right so you see it at the bottom and then if i click on the settings of the rsi boom i can go to the levels i'm gonna do uh 85 and 25 all right just for now, I forgot the old ones I used to do, but you can add as many, um, boom. And so essentially, whenever you're looking at your chart, all right, let me double tap that so I can get back in the range. Whenever I'm looking at this RSI down here in this area, all right, I'm looking for us to be touching this line at the bottom, all right? And if it's touching here, then I'm looking to buy up. I'm looking to buy up. If it's touching up here at this uh, 80 mark in this area, I'm looking to sell off, right? That's what I'm looking to do. And so anytime that happens, you will notice that the market shifts. So for instance, up here, when I look right here, we, we was high at like the 85. And then if you look on the actual chart, we got a sell right there. The market sold, all right? And then if I'm able to come down here that's kind of ugly that's divergent so we, don't, we ain't gonna mess with that but bingo right here you can see when the rsi was low at 25 and you look here on the chart boom let me know the market was gonna go up and we shot up so that was perfect all right so i use those different things too tools like that and the stochastic oscillator uh, acts the same way um and that's pretty much all you need as long as you know some support and resistance which essentially is this, wherever, you know, the market touches, 
Boom. So we got a touch there, a touch there, a touch here. So this right here is a, a another zone. So let me show you support and resistance. So you can come here, you can come here to drawing, all right? And you can start drawing. Boom. So this is support and resistance. All right, so the market is bouncing in multiple areas, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We bouncing right here, we bouncing right here, and we rejecting again right there. So that's a that's a zone. So I can either move, whoops, I can either move this down here, all right, and change the style of it, make it a little thicker. That's one, because we got multiple touches. And then I grab another horizontal line, and then I can place one here. The reason I could place one here, we get a multiple touches in these areas. And then I could also place one at the very bottom as well. You know what I'm saying? And so now, and this is how you find multiple confirmations. You look on your, your RSI or your stochastic and you say, okay, we're down here below this 25 level over here that I have. All right, so that's low. So I know I'm looking to buy. Then I say, okay, well, we're getting ready to hit a zone, which is down here. All right, so the moment we touch that zone, the RSI is low, we know we're taking off. Boom. All right, now rule of thumb anytime the market goes up, it does a, a pullback for the most part. All right, so if the market goes up and the, boom, it goes up, it usually pulls back. At the pullback, and it pull back to this zone right here. At the pullback, you can buy again and ride the market back up. So that's two entries. All right, so always remember that whenever the market shoots up, it does a pullback, and once it pulls back, then you should be able to get in again for two entries. Now, if you want to load up at the bottom, you can do that. Same with your USD. And sometimes I will tell you that the market doesn't have to be directly um, at the top every single time. As you can see, we got close. We got close here on the RSI to the 85, and then as you can see on the chart right up in this area is where the drop happened. Beautiful drop. I mean, that thing dropped beautifully, right? And so you can always use these different tools to, to, to win. And as long as you mark your chart up um, on like the daily and then come down to the M15 to uh, place your trades, I mean, you're golden. Wait till it hits a zone and then sell off. Boom, catch that bounce, sell off, hold it, and uh, set you a take profit if you want to or if you want to hold overnight like I did. I didn't set no stop loss or take profit just because that's just how I trade. But <laughs> if you want to do it for your safety, cool. You know what I'm saying? But that's how you that's how you could trade in a simple, simple, simple rules, y'all. So that's how you could trade. If you like these kind of videos, let me know. I'll do a lot more. Uh, like I said, I'm still trying to work this chart, right? Because <laughs> I'm just getting used to it. I'm used to MT5, but this is really uh, good. It's really giving me MT5 vibes. And I'm liking it. You know what I'm saying? So, I'll let your boy, and I'll see you on another video. Let's get it.